G'day everybody, welcome to a brand new episode. So, I've been putting this video off for a while now because of the amount of footage I've got and I haven't had much time really to go through everything, which finally I've got time, we've got a rainy day, it's hailing, it's pouring outside, so why not make use of it? <laughs> anyway guys, we've got a fair few mounts delivered recently. We've got about four, what have we got? Four shoulder mounts and a Euro mount all in the past couple of months, so Let's check them out. Got a big warthog from South Africa that I took in 2019. There's a few pedestal boxes that I've been working on the last couple of days. Impala Ram. Nice big Gemsbuck bull. Big Kudu bull as well. Here's the buffalo from this video. I've got his cape in my other house, but I don't know, I'm going to wait till next year to see what to do with him. And then we've got this big beast of a scrub bull that I shot last year. I always said if I shot a big scrub bull, I was going to get him mounted and here we are. <laughs> so in this episode, we drove all the way from South Australia up into the Northern Territory to Catherine. It was about a 2400k trip one way just to get to Catherine and then after we got to Catherine I met up with Alex and we got all our gear ready to head into Arnhem Land I think it was another another 400 k's from Catherine into Arnhem Land which we stayed in there for about four or five days I reckon we hunted buffalo pretty hard we ended up getting one on the first day at lunchtime which was pretty awesome to get one with the bow that quickly um, we ended up spending the next two or three days scouting, just looking for big bulls for his season coming up. And yeah, we found, we would have to be over 20 shooter bulls through the couple of days that were there. It's really good, I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure you like and subscribe.
So around midday on the first day, we'd found this big bull under a tree by himself in the shade. I crawled across the open ground and got into 50 yards. After sitting in the sun for about 40 minutes without the bull moving, we decided to make a bit of a plan. I started moving to the side to get away from Alex. And then when I was out of the way, Alex would call so that the buffalo would hopefully lose the attention from me and start moving towards Alex. In the excitement, I've turned off my GoPro rather than turning it on and I've missed the shot on film. As soon as Alex called, he started coming straight out from under the tree, got to about 35 yards broadside to me, but he wouldn't stop. So I just had a shot, the shot was good and he took off into the thick scrub. Mm -hmm. That's a nice bull, bro. He looks old. Mm. Oh, see that one out the back there is a good bull. Yeah. He's fucking heavy too. He's bulldozing. Can you see him coming? Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, I can. 
can see the bird now. Well guys, that's the end of another video. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you next time. Take it easy guys. See you later.